Okay, so um, we're going to go through that again, um, and one more. T we're going to go through another another time. You want to be pushing those stances, uh, perfecting the technique. The next section after we've gone through this another time will be an opportunity to break down the moves themselves. So if you've got any questions on those, that's fine. But um, we're just going to go through another time, push the stances, finish warming up the body before we start to move into any sort of thing like that. Log any questions that you may have in your mind uh, as we're going and we'll give you an opportunity to ask questions and, uh, and do all that sort of thing. Um, as we move through the next couple of sections. Okay, dogs, give me a thumbs up if you're good to go again. All right. You need to mute everyone, Sensei. Sorry? Do you need to mute everyone? Uh, no, I'm okay. If there's anyone making a noise, just mute yourself. Yeah, there was. Okay. There was someone bucking around with a cat or something that was a very distracting. Coming up. Okay, get ready. Hang on, I'll see if I can see if I can mute everyone and still have it working. I'll, let me a second. Can you still hear me? Okay, let's go. Resuming your stance for a 10 seconds of World Nation workout. Cool down one minute. Done. Great workout. You spent six minutes, 38 seconds exercising. Right, guys. Starting your sensory 10 seconds of all nation workout. When you decide not to be 30 seconds. You already okay. know when you decide not to be mediocre. You won't win when you decide not to lose. Uh, this is not the audio I had planned. You will listen to me. So we'll just deal with it. You'll be good when you decide to be good. You'll excel when you decide to excel. Okay, let's go. Bow like you bow again to the Olympics. Posture, chin up, exercise. Go, run. Four in. Four, hips slightly off. Come forward and off. Breathe. Exercise. 
Oh, that's pretty funny. Unmute yourself if you want to talk. That's pretty funny, that soundtrack. Anyway, um, very good. So, should be warmed up now. Should be warmed up, ready to go. Um, I don't know what the, you, most of you look like you're inside. I'm in the garage and the mozzies are starting to come pretty uh, thick and thick and fast. So that might keep me moving quicker. Heather, you got a question, go. Do that wrong. I don't remember doing the double punch. Am I doing the wrong carter, guys? I did that. Because we went straight in after all the four kicks and then I'm confused. I don't know. Yeah, oh. that's right. After the kicks, you're doing that and then turn, go the other way. Yeah. Did we do that? I didn't think we did. Yeah, we I did. did. We did the yeah. last one. I did. That yeah. Did. Um, okay. okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to break it up into uh, one, two, three, four sections, um, the same sections that they're on the video, uh, and have a look at a few different things. Now, I'm just going to change my view so that I can see myself, make sure that I'm showing you the right things. Here we go. All right. So let's, uh, we're done with bowing, and... We're coming into that first move, coming over, make sure that arms back to back, crossing over, through, part. Itchy, okay? Just turn the hands out fractionally like so. Now I want you to over-exaggerate the hips. Uh, when we're coming in, we're bringing this in. I want you to just ever so slightly drag that hip back as, a, as you pull the hand in, okay? Now, Hand comes in, hip comes back, push it in and overextend it slightly past center. That, that center, ever, ever so slightly past center, and then back to square. Okay, next, next move we come in, hand comes in. As we get to this last little part, let the hip pull back ever so slightly, punch, go past center, that center. Just past center and then pull back. And then we go again. Through, pull, through, and back. Prep the hand before you move the feet. Step and hips and shoulders are square as the foot lands. And then as we execute the block, make sure we're pulling the hip back with the retraction of that hand. Through really pushing into it. At this point, I like to make sure my chin is up, I'm not down, square, it's a bit hard to do when it's backwards. And then we come through, one, hips and shoulders slightly off with this one, which gives the ability to come in square with the next. With these front kicks, make sure that you're coming up to the knee, up to the knee, execute, Step down or fractionally in front. High knee lift, kick, ball of the foot, above the belt. And you step down, one, two. Hip off, hips off, with, hips off with the elbow strike. And then straight with the hip when you, as you come in. 
<laughs> okay, any questions on that? That's section one. Any questions on that section? No. Nope. Okay, so I just, I so just go through, go through those first three moves. <laughs> Okay, if you're fiddling around with the camera or you're doing something like that, then make sure you mute yourself before you make a racket for everyone. Okay. Okay. So just work those first three moves, and I want to see you working those hips. Show me those hips. Go. Good, Andrew. Good, Kirsty. Nice, John. Daniel, son. Good. That's it. Little, little, little bit less movement, Cheryl. Don't pull it back quite so far, but you can push it forward a bit more. Yeah, good. Jazz. Show us your hip set, go back a section so I can have a look at that hip section with the punch issue. Good, Lee. Kylie, it's probably the angle of your camera. Just check and make sure that, the, that your hands are the same height as the shoulder. Um, it's probably the, the height of the camera. McNamara, show me, show me your, uh, show me the hips. Good. Good. Okay, so, so the feedback here that I want for you is, is if you, if you're on this, like, if you're teaching this Carter or you're, you're fairly fresh to it, or this is fairly new to you, I want you to do more rather than less. Okay, so I want you to have too much hip movement and for us to have to rein you in rather than have not enough hip work and be continually trying to get you to do more. So this, I believe, will probably will take quite a bit of quite a bit of training. Um, we come through, it's pulling the back there and, and, and getting that, remember, you want to fire the hip. So at the point of impact, it's forward now. Pull back should be pretty easy, okay? But remember, the whole point of it is to get power into that strike. Now, many of you are already ahead of me and jumped ahead and understand now why I was linking Sansaru, Soshin, uh, sorry, Sisoshin and Seizan, uh, because these carters have a, a common thing. But you can use that in your own training as you're training on the beach or whatever, okay? Um, now, Next, any questions on that section? All good? Excellent. Okay, so then the next sequence from here is a pull it coming up from here. And the first one is a 180. So we've got 180s and 90s. And the thing that I wanna work on particularly tonight is the, the stance. And so as we come up, we're gonna do a 180. So we. The back foot's 45 now. As you pull up to here, I want the foot to be facing 90 from where we were. So we're facing the front and we step up and with the preparation for the side kick, we're gonna side kick to the front where we were and the foot's gonna be 90. We place the foot down, front foot down and then pivot from there, okay? So just work that a couple of times and then we'll work the opposite, which is the, the section that uh, where we do the where we do the 90 degree turn. It's it's same but different, we just eliminate something. So do that a couple of times from there. Through. Now with the side kick, the hand, you can almost drop the elbow down a fraction and look through, look through here, through between under your arm here. Don't drop it all the way down yet. So just with the preparation through, it's still relatively high. Then as you step, it's gonna drop and come across 
So the action is it comes down. So we're prepared here and it comes in as if you're blocking something with this top hand and then you parry that block. Okay, so it's a two, two arm block. It's not just that it's not a simple one arm each UK. It's a two arm, I want you to think of it as a two arm block. Okay. So like a parry, parry block. So from here, then we come in, foot turns 90, what about my balance? Step down. Once as that steps down, the hand drops into an itchy okay preparation position, and then and it comes across from there. Cross and down. I'll try and do it. I'll do it backwards. So this way. Down. As the foot comes down, that hand's going to come down a bit from its preparation point. Comes across. I'm blocking with the top hand. And Block parry. Okay, it's subtle. It's fairly subtle. It's not. It's it's the same with the hips. When we work in the hips, and we 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 might over exaggerate it a little bit, and then as we get more fluent with it, a black belt never does in two moves what they can do in one move. They become more. You 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 lessen the movement, but you don't don't lessen its. Um, concept that you don't lessen what it's about it still has just as much impact it's just smaller movement okay so now let's have a look at the 90 so we've done the we've done the 180 then we're going to make sure that if, if anything you're pulling that the toes and the heels further away i want you to imagine that you're side kicking a brick wall or a pole or something at least i don't care what you do as long as that Toes are not the furthest thing down. If they are, right. that frustrates me bad a lot. So down for place, give it. Now, I'll face this way just so you can see it. We've done this way. The next one's going to be a 90 degree one. The foot, the bottom foot's going to pivot as you bring the foot up. So it's facing in the direction that you're going to go. We prep, side kick. And then step down, and all it does, can you just see that small movement? It just locks in the sound shin dutch. So from here, just prep up, worry about my balance here, and then kick, step, and as you're doing that, this foot just pivots slightly, locking you into the stance as if you're corkscrewing into a cork bottle in a wine bottle, okay, which will be a bit later after we finish class and we've all hydrated properly. So let me just watch what you're doing. You want to stay, that's it, stay nice and low. See how they get into it. Nice, Andrew, good. That's it, Jazz, good. Riley, good. So, that's it. So, if, um, if I asked you to clarify what I said in your own words, would you feel comfortable in the teaching is knowing, right? If you know something well enough to explain it to someone else, then you know it enough. Um, with the placement of the foot, is, it, is anyone still uncertain about what I mean by that? Like having you turning it into the position for the 90 degree and then it just that slightest pivot in, and for the 180s, we're turning halfway and then turning and screwing the last half. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of simple, but it's a massive part of the kata. Like Sunshin Dutch is so much about screwing into the floor, ah, becoming one with the floor. So you're strong from all angles. When do you actually start that moving of that foot? The bottom foot? The, the one 
after you've done the kick and you're putting the, the kicking foot down and you're moving yeah. the other one. Like when you first did it, you sort of win a kind of a almost a hung get you kind of a stance. <laughs> yeah, so like the on the 90 degree. Yeah. So the 90 degree, turn it, come down. Oh, straight away. Okay. There. So it turns straight away. It right. turns straight away on both of them. Okay. And it turns the same position. So the 90 is turning straight into the position where it's pretty much going to stay. Right. And then for the 180, it's turning halfway. And then as we, we hit touch down, touch on just slightly forward, touch down, touch and turn. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look at the third section. Third section's just got two moves in it. So it is, uh, we've come, this is the part that we had to miss. We're facing this way, I'll do it facing this way. From here, last one of these, hands come in, one. So let the hands come in. Don't actually move anything apart from the hands. So from here, hands come in, one. Then step the front foot and fire. So you want to land the double punch and the stance at the same time. So from here, the hands pull back by themselves, and then there's a flurry. Everything happens together. Feet, hands, block, through, down. And you snap into that stance with the legs out, bang, boom, into it. Um, I even, I even, I don't go into it grace, gracefully. If you listen. You'll hear a bit of a slap on the mat, almost like I'm doing a ozuki. So from here, hands come one, two, and then we pull the hands in as we pivot in and down again. And you drop into it, stay low, but dropping into it, getting those knees to pop. Give that a crack. Give me a look. Yeah, okay, good. Let me give you some more feedback. That's good, guys. Looking good. Um, I want you to, and this is this is fairly advanced sort of, uh, sort of black belt stuff. That's what we're doing, mate. We're all black belts here, all gonna be. So it's two, it's a two-speed move. Meaning this is not really not don't want it to make it too fast, make it purposeful, and I would say. It's a probably a 50% speed. So from here, like it's not like that, not one, two. It's more like a, a wind up. And the effectiveness of the move is, is not, it's not, it's this is sort of thinking like this. And bang. In, and it's how it's sort of flowery. And I'm, I'm replicating the end move, one of the end moves, right? Because it's the same concept here. It's just not a move in itself. It's in. Okay, so one, two. The next move is slightly different because it feels quick because it's a, it's a mawata, it's that style of turn. It's that hip turn throw here, otherwise you'd be doing. So it's like, so if, we, if I do it uh, this way, that's the beginning of the turn and down, and it just goes as one. So it's quite a bit quicker. So the two moves aren't exactly the same. They're different. So I'll give it a crack. See if you can see if you put my words into moves.
Yeah, good. You've done the you've done the you've, you've done the very challenging guys, and you have you've done you put what I just said into into the car. It's good. Notice for improvement and doing what I'm not looking for. So good job. Um, the uh, done the other thing there we can really practice is just bringing coming through and just skip through. So draw one, two, and then getting that to flow through. But we won't work on that tonight. You can do that in your home training tomorrow or something. All right, so let's look at the, the next, the last section. So we've come through bang, 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 and we're coming through like so. So this hand folds, the hand's kind of open, and you pull out that elbow, and then the inside which is a top hand, falls off. So open as you're lifting, falls off, through. And you're looking, your elbows pulled back enough here, this way. So you can see through here, Thanks. not straight there. Pull back slightly so you can see, see through. Okay. Let's have a crack at that. Let's do a few. Okay. Is it the second bit? Okay, so in the essence of time, because we're going to get a bunch of people jumping on us in a second. Let's go from here. We've just done that. So we've gone one and straight into this move here. We want to get this pull back through. Now, I'm going to come back to your hip, feet are here, feet are in line, hips, are, hips and shoulders are square, but your feet aren't equal. They're so like so. And we're pulling back here, and I want you to think of the speed of it is a sharp, but not not it's not a sharp snap move, but it's not a slow move either. Um, it's got it's got all the hip in it. It's got all the moves of a sharp move done with little effort through, and not 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 too much flexing flexation as you get to that back point, but still a finish like through. So that should look something like this. Is Imitate through. So you can see it's sharp, but I'm not, I'll try and show you the difference. Not bang, hard as I can. Through, too much tension. Okay, so as we, once we've got to here, as we step forward, the hip that's forward, let it open ever so slightly. So it can close with a double punch. We pull back, sharp but not too intense. As we step forward, let the hip open slightly and close the hip on the top end. Okay. Try and give you a little bit of thinking behind this. If you go too sharp back, bang, it's going to be two moves, two distinct moves. If you go too slow, flow, it's going to be too flowy. And that's not what we're looking for here. We're looking for a sharp move that flows. Right? Easy. No. So as we come back, sharp, wind up. To start to finish, but it's winding up. Sensei, so like, yeah. Kirill just said um, that he was closing the other rooms in a minute. Oh, did he? All right. Yeah, a little message just came up. I didn't think you'd saw it. You'd seen it. Uh, okay, so that 
that's that gives us time just to do the whole carter in its little pieces. Oh, sorry. Do the whole carter if you've got space. Ready? Go. They'll come back and they'll join in on us. That's fine. We'll just finish. Well done, guys. Good job. Are we all back? Everyone's back? We are. I don't think I left anyone in the breakout room. Uh, I'm here anyhow. I think everyone's back, are they? Okay, I can't find the lockies. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay. Um, what do we do, Sensei Loki? It's all in your hands. Okay. Well, I hope you guys all had a good time. My, my little room was, um, was a bit of fun. It was good. Um, how, how did everybody else go? How did you go, Sensei Amanda? Yeah, it was great. I had a great bunch of committed students that right. worked really hard and we really um, drilled down in Basadai. It was great. I'm doing everything. <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, what about uh, all the other instructors teaching? How did you feel? How did I you found the ambient sound good. Uh huh. Oh, that was good, yes. Hi. All right. Excellent. Okay, so um, well done. Let's let's put our hands together for a, a silent. It'll be a silent, probably a silent clap for Sensei Lockie for organising there. Thank you. And and also, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the uh, all the Zoom instructors that have been dedicating not only tonight but other nights through the week. So thank you to you guys. And. Um, we wouldn't be possible without you guys, the students. So thank you so much for joining us and uh, and training and doing karate uh, from home. Thank you to, to everyone for getting involved. You guys are the winners. You guys are the ones that don't let what you can't do interfere with what you can do. So well done for that. That's awesome. Now, I've just got uh, two things that I'd like to talk about quickly. One is um, the, um, I want to, just before we went into lockdown, we did a massive, uh, sensei training program which is the program that i take through our uh, our top students through in order to train them up in order to learn all the skills the ins and outs of what we do as instructors and normally we'd have a big hoo-ha at the end of that and um, we present them with their instructor belts and their certificates and all that sort of thing and just maybe run a seminar or something like that now we will, we will be doing that 
once we do get back. But it's been so long since we finished up. Anyway, I'd just like to recognize those people that um, have gone through the program and will be joining officially the instructor ranks as soon as we get back to our classes. So I'll just run through my list here so I don't let everyone off and let you know where they'll be teaching or help and simplifying and teaching. So we've got Luke and John O'Mayo who will be helping out. Luke will be at the uh, full-time centre on a Wednesday night and John will be uh, assigned to the Sunday class. We've got um, Josh Ebden who will be Sensei uh, Senpai hang out uh, Wadalba. We've got Matt Tierney who will be at Gondolin. Rebecca Harris will be at Gondolin. Peter Walbridge, Bado Bay on a Monday. Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah, I'm going you know, to get that wrong. I've said them both. So <laughs> Mr. Ryan uh, will be at Gondolin. Leanne uh, Blair Smith will be at Blue Haven. Brianna Blair Smith will be at Blue Haven. Uh, Mr. Hogan, Daniel Sun will be uh, Battle Bay on a Monday night. And so uh, we've got Nick Bigelow, who will be on a Tuesday and a Thursday at the full-time centre. We've got David Dallinger, who will be teaching at Woi Woi with Kirill. We've got uh, Pete Bancroft, who will be at Gwondolin as well. And we've got David Gherkin, who will be uh, teaching at Tugra. So congratulations to all you guys. And um, we... Uh, we're, we're absolutely blessed as a region to have you on the, as part of the Sensei group and can't wait to get you in the dojo and sharing, sharing your knowledge and everything. Welcome to the team and we'll do it again properly in person when we get a chance. So thank you to all of you. The other thing that I just wanted to, to touch on, I want to make sure that all of you who don't miss out and don't uh, are fully aware of the seminar coming up on Saturday. There's a trilogy of seminars from our top instructors, uh, Shihan, Shihan, and Kantra. It's an opportunity for us to train with our top people without even leaving home. So you have to log in there. There is a, there is an additional fee on top of your normal training fee that you need to pay. The links and everything that you need are on Facebook. You've probably been emailed it as well. Um, I'll be there um, enjoying the training, and uh, I would highly recommend you get along there if you can. I think you get a discount if you pay for all three. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much it is off the top of my head, but on whatever it is, it'll be well worth it. So Daniel Sun, 30? Each? No, it's $30 if you do all three. It's, it's 45 for students, I think. 45? 45 for all three. Okay. Is it? Have a look. Have it's a look on Facebook. Have a look on Facebook, click the link, and it'll take you. If anyone has any trouble, send us a, a PM, a personal message, and we'll um, we'll get to the bottom of it, okay? Um, we'll just throw it open now, and anyone that's got any any questions, any comments from tonight's class, any anything at all, throw them in. If I've forgotten anything, senseis, feel free to pull me up. Um, like, can you, like... Do you have to do it or do you not have to do it? You don't have to do anything, mate. Tomorrow you don't have to do it. You can do it if you want to do it. Okay. Don't forget you have to unmute yourself if you want to say hi. That was awesome. Thank you to everyone. Loved it. Yeah, hey, Pete and the family, you're welcome. Sure. I don't Thank know, you, Sensei. Thank you. Yes, it was great. Love doing yep. Carter. Um, yeah. Thank you, you Sensei. Bye. It was good. Thank you. Bye. Congratulations. I can say meeting. While we're in lockdown, any chance of having one of these breakout carters each like week? I'll do it if you guys do it. <laughs> it's a good way because you get the tutorial and as well as detailed information on the Sensei Paul. It was basically going through slow. We did fun character, but with the detail yeah. given, I can remind myself of things which probably are not always there. So it's just a nice, nice way to go through it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.
Yeah, it is good. Well, if, if you ask the instructors really nicely, yeah. if they're not really busy, maybe we can do it again. Mm. That would be good. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was uh, an exciting class. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad. All right, if we do do it next week, then we'll do, uh, I'll probably do Sapphire in the back book. Cool. Awesome. Thanks. Good. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, no, it's like a plan. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sensei, it was very good. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Sensei. It was amazing. Massive Thank thanks to everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sensei Amanda. Thank you, Sensei Paul. That's great, mate. Thank thanks. you. Thanks, guys. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Nice. Good job. Thank Have you. a good night. Thanks, Sensei. Bye. That's the right group. Well done, guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Bye, Sensei. Thank you. Bye. Good night now, Sensei. That was good. That was good. It was a real challenge to fit two carters in 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah, that would have been. I struggled to fit all the guys. I was like, if if we were just doing Sayunshin, we could have maybe covered enough in forty five minutes. Uh, so I, I'm hungry for part two. Awesome. I, 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 put, I put two put put two carters there because I secretly knew that it would just be a one time deal. So <laughs> it, it was more a Sayunshin or MP. Sort of situation. No, no, it was Sayunshin and MP. <laughs> awesome. Well, I knew you could handle it. I didn't even bat an eyelid. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that was unreal. I, I had a really good time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you soon learn what foot to have in front when, like more than just from instinct, when you have to explain it to people over and over again. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. yeah. Now, Sayunshin's good because you practice everything on both sides anyway. Yeah. <laughs> How many do we have? Uh, we need to accumulate. Yeah, I'll, I'll send a, a message through in the, the Zoomers chat. I'll log off now and send that through. It's yeah. about like 55, 57, maybe 60. Yeah. Well, that was, that was like people logged on, but there's like whole families in one login too so it's probably oh, over 60 so that's good well i had 10 in my group yeah and I i'm eight. not counting I, i'm not counting myself i had no. i had 16 17 oh. wow. i had 11 plus me oh i had 18 with me i don't know i delegated it to cheryl <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, what's the grand title? It will be around 55, 60. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Still the biggest class we've had. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you'd want to hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. It, you know, it's good. It sort of makes a bit of sense to do it tonight because, like, I already teach a class anyway. So yeah. why not give up the time slot for, for everybody to, you know, do some Carter? So it, it was good. It's great. Thank you for mm. learning your class time. Awesome. Well, it's, you know, it's not for me, it's for everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I great. already know Cypher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to learn Bassett I. I I had this grand plan. I've been like planning it for three days, uh, <laughs> way too much. And so I had like, I was going to do like uh, Sansaru. Flowing into uh, Sasoshin, flowing into Cezanne, and I had it at all linked together, and how was, how they all applied to each other, and all this sort of stuff. And then I realised that it was forty five minutes instead of an hour, you know, <laughs> five minutes, and uh, cut it down to one carter. Uh, I'm surprised everybody said forty five minutes when I said, "What do you want to do?" I thought for sure they would have said an hour. Oh uh, yeah, could have could have easily spent more, but. Uh, yeah. No, I think I think they I think they love it. You know, in and out in an hour. You know, is just that's the the big benefit of Zoom is that you you're back home real quick. Yeah. yeah, leaves everyone wanting more, doesn't it? Definitely. 
Yeah. You're creating a deficit. <laughs> that makes people want more. It's hard to see um, individual people's moves and give them feedback, especially when, like, I had 16. It was, and yeah. they were all at various different stages of, you know, some were learning the Carter, some were kids. Um, you know, I found that bit difficult and I found some moves hard to explain, but it really kept, kept me on my toes. And I really thought that 45 minutes would be too long, but I, I could have gone on for an hour. Kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I wonder if, you know, like the shorter, sharp, you know, getting to the nitty gritty and, and getting into something and, and taking away something from that rather than overwhelming with too much information and too much. Yeah. Yeah. Could even try working on like just a little section on a night. Yeah. Six moves and that's all you do, but you just smash it. Well, that's what I tried to do, but each section of the carter, and it's probably too much. It needs to be broken down into seven weeks. Yeah. So <laughs> the cat in seven weeks. Oh, okay. You've already had this discussion. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> seven weeks. <laughs> you sounded like you already knew about it. No. All oh, right. Yeah. Awesome. It's going to be going to be fun. I reckon it's um, yeah, definitely something people. Well, it's obviously something people wanted. That's why we did it. So, yeah. You get a lot of people that are just really happy to do Carter, you know. Carter's not a lot of fun just doing it by yourself, you know, no. in the garage. It's nice to be able to do it and see other people. So, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's, it's, it's more disciplined. Oh, no, sorry. It's actually less disciplined, but it's better to be told what to do than take it upon yourself to do it. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, there's no way I would have spent like five hours over the last three days doing Carter in the garage by myself if I wasn't teaching this class. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Awesome. Thanks, team. Thanks, guys. Good Thank night. You. Bye. Bye. Have a safe Thanks, Bye. Yeah, safe Bye. driving. Good evening. Yes, safe driving. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Bye, everyone.